welcome back to my channel. Join me as I get unready. Then washing my face and then I just go in gently with a towel and I like to pat my face dry. Then washing my face and then I just go in gently with a towel and I like to pat my face dry. I am done removing all my makeup, but I'm still going to answer all of your guys' questions. What can you advise to people with low self-esteem? Honestly, that's something that I struggle with too, and I think a lot of a lot of women, a lot of people in general struggle with low self-esteem. We always want something more, we always want something better for ourselves, and we always we're the type of pe I mean, all people always notice their flaws and everything that isn't perfect about them. And I think that's just natural for us to experience and to feel. And I guess the most important thing is just to acknowledge that we're human and that we have flaws, we make mistakes, and that we're not perfect. So I guess once you learn to accept that, it becomes easier for you to deal with or manage with your low self-esteem or if you're shy. Um, and also, to surround yourself with people that make you feel good. First thing to do when COVID ends, travel. I mean, I did get to travel even when there was COVID, um, but of course, it was a lot harder than how I used to travel. And there are uh, there are still a lot of restrictions in terms of like what countries you can go to, what flights you can take and stuff like that. So um, definitely when COVID ends, I wanna go to like Japan or Korea. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, the experience working on Tresse. Tresse is really, really, it was really fun. I was really nervous going into it. I was honestly so scared because I didn't want to fail. I was, I'm new to voice acting and I, I really, when I read the, um, the comics, I really loved the story and I wanted it to do so well because it's such an amazing com uh, graphic novel and fun experience. One, definitely one for the books. And if I were to be offered another voice acting role again in the future, I would definitely accept it because it's so much fun. Okay, so this question came from a good friend of mine named Monica Evangelista, and she asked me, do I have any affordable skincare tips? Yes, I actually do. If there's one thing that I learned from my obsession of watching skincare by Hiram, or any skincare videos for that matter, it's that you always have to check the ingredients that are on, of course, the ingredients on the back label of the products. And um, I became very conscious with all the products that I put on my face and what ingredients they have. Also, being able to take care of yourself. Self-care. So that's one tip that I can advise you guys. It is from another good friend of mine. His name is Ger Gerard Gatlavera. <laughs> I almost messed up on your name, Gerard. Okay, so what's your secret to glowing skin, sis? Um, I don't think it's a secret anymore. I just showed you my whole, like, almost my complete skincare routine. If you guys want to see a complete skincare routine, please do um, comment in the comment section and I can do that. I can break down all the products that I use. But anyway, like I said, it's no secret. I use Nivea. I've been using their whip foam ever since. 2017, 2018, and it has been doing me good. I do not break out as often. I usually do break out when it's around that time of the month for women, um, so that's pretty normal. But for the most part, I, I'm, I like the way my skin looks. I like the way my skin feels, um, and I, I'm naturally glowing. But aside from that, also you have to balance it out with a good diet. Make sure you drink a lot of water and exercise because, believe it or not, when you exercise and you sweat, it really brings out this natural natural glow in your skin but of course you also help have to help it with good products for your skincare routine hey guys so that concludes our video for today i hope you guys learned a lot of tips and tricks when it comes to your skincare routine thank you guys so much for participating in the question and answer that i put up on my ig stories it really means a lot to me and i so that's it guys thank you again bye